Hello guys, uh, wait a second, come on, I can't even check this, in the middle of it, okay, hello guys, today we're gonna be, um, doing a new theme, so I got this idea just a few minutes ago, and so this is called the chill theme, so, first thing you wanna do is go to the link in the description, um, and hop on to Mega, download it, um, using an extractor, um, drag and drop the folder onto your desktop, so now we're going to double click on it and we're going to click on, we're going to right click here. This is a 4K background so just keep that in mind. We're going to set that as the desktop background. Obviously you guys can use whatever you like. Um, but yeah, now we're going to run rain meter 4.3.1. Okay, and at the same time we can run translucent TV. So next, install, yes. And here we can do next, I accept, next, 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 install, finish, and finish. Now, when we're done here, we're going to unload all these skins. Make sure that you don't exit this here. Now we're going to do view and show desktop icons off. And we're going to turn on um, rain. We're going to use the Android Pi style clock. Install it. And we're going to set this to wherever we like since it is draggable. And once you've set it there, right click on the actual skin, do um, settings, and remove draggable. So that way you can't drag it around and it won't get messed up. Now we're going to download the corner dock. I'm going to press install. Um, this one's going to be a bit confusing because of the way that this is made. So, well, yeah because the way that you know so we're gonna right click here we're gonna click on corner dock you know settings and we're also going to right click here we're going to click on rain meter um skins open folder and we're going to click on corner dock at resources icons and highlight all these like this otherwise you can't see it at all not even one bit. Now, for our first one, uh, we'll be using Chrome. So, how do you do it? You type in Chrome here, Chrome.png, and here we're going to be putting the path for Chrome. So, if we type in Chrome here, we do click here, open file, and then we're going to right click here, open file, and click here slash Chrome.exe. Oh, come on. Hopefully, it's still there. Oh. Now we just copy that, exit Chrome, and uh, paste that in here. Now, we're going to change this one to Spotify. And you might be wondering what these two are for. I'll show you guys that in a second. But we're going to be using Spotify for this one. Now we're going to be typing in Spotify here, open file location, open file location again, and we're going to do a little slash that says, and we're to type in Spotify.exe, and yeah, that boots up the program. Make sure that I've ended it, and we're just going to copy it, exit this, paste that in, and it pastes that in here. Um, but make sure to use the brackets. No. Oh, come on. And why does that keep on going off my screen? I don't get it. Anyway, um, I'm gonna put some brackets. Um, yes, you might be wondering what are we gonna do to the other icons. I'll show you that in a second. Um, now, this final one, we're gonna do MS Word. So. That's the PNG file for it, and to look it up, we just have to look up Word, click here, open file, um, right click again, press open file, tab, no. and then do slash, wait no, slash, and then we're going to type in winword.exe, now this will boot into Word, all you have to do is quickly exit, copy this um, in the two speech marks, we're going to place that, we're going to save it, 
uh, hold control and press S or you can just go into the corner um, and we're going to click right click here and we're going to do refresh skin if we click on Chrome that boots up Chrome if we click on Spotify boots up Spotify and if we click on Word what does it do? boots up Word now to make more there is a spot where you can click just up here so you've got all of this and then you're going to click right up here and that includes this much more space to add extra icons and you can close it back using the same sliding animation um, so yeah as you can see it automatically disappears once you click on a new thing um, so the final thing that we are going to do is we're going to use taskbar x we're going to press install and there you go that's about it let me quickly take a screenshot Wait, what? No. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, you guys can add more to this, make it more realistic. I don't know. Um, do what you please. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you guys so much for 60 subs. We're on our way to Sony. Um, and also for the 1.3k views in the previous. Like if you didn't. Dislike if you wait, like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, and subscribe if you want to because it'll help us out. And I uh, will see you in the next one.